Hello everybody and welcome back to my home here in East Tennessee. Guess what I got? I got some more Tulumnias. Okay, these are from Hauserman. They just hit my doorstep and I want to make sure that everything's good with these. I'm sure that it will be. Um, as you all know, Orchids are my passion, but Tulumnias have become, ooh, my goodness, near and dear to my heart. I love these little orchids. They are, mm, they have just kind of uh, taken over my heart. Yes, you can tell. I just keep, I just keep getting them. Um, the thing about these is, you know, they're so easy to take care of. I can water a dozen of them in in just no time. So yay. I'm just so glad that I found something that um, is small, very, very lightweight, easy to take care of, and they bloom anytime. So I mean, that's awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the unboxing with you all today. I'm probably not going to do any repotting uh, today. I want to get these unpacked. I want to get them hydrated. And of course, they're going to go in my three inch orchid pots that I get from my sponsor, the Orchid Supply Store. And these will go in, um, ooh, look how well, <laughs> look how nice this is. Okay, let me pay attention here to what I'm doing. Um, they will also be potted up in moss, New Zealand sphagnum moss from the Orchid Supply Store. And you all know that I will place their information down below. Um, when you place an order with the Orchid Supply Store, you'll get a 12% discount if you use my coupon code AMY. And also, you'll get free shipping within the United States. So that's a great deal. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm trying to talk and look at the same time. This one is Tulumnia Gyric Farm Pink Lady, and this one is so pretty. Oh my goodness. And Look down in here, and they even sent the little pots to put them in. That's awesome. Carefully, carefully. Gorgeous, gorgeous little plant. Yes, that one will not be a problem at all to get out of that pot. That's awesome. Okay, there's Pink Lady. And you know what? I think I'm gonna get something else to put this down on instead of back down in that little pot. Okay, so that's the first one. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. These were some brand new ones that they got in. I have been searching, like, um, I've been searching their site, also the Kroll Smith site, just to see when they get new Tulumnias in. And I'm nabbing them when I see one that I don't have. Um, like I said, these don't take up much space. I can easily make space uh, with some LED lights. That's how I grow mine is under halo lights. I have them in my kitchen. I just made a brand new display shelf for them out in my sunroom that I can't wait to show you all. And um, ooh, this one, okay, this one's Tulumnia Gyric Rainbow Strawberry. Oh boy, and I had better be, I've already lost the first, <laughs> the first little tag. This is what happens. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. And I did find the, pack, the tag to Pink Lady. Um, it was in the newspaper that I had just crumpled up. So, oh man, okay. I'm going to try to pay attention. This goes here. All right. So these have little pots that you can put them down in. Um, I think I've got plenty of pots from the Orchid Supply Store, every size that I need, because sometimes these little roots will fool you. You think, oh yeah, this is gonna fit down in a two inch pot. And uh, yeah, and it doesn't. Oh, and this one's in good shape too. I got five of these, did I mention? I got five. Um, yeah oh man okay that one's really really pretty and that one it does 
the bloom on this one, it does, it looks like a strawberry. It's the coolest thing. And you know about me and pink and purple, right? You, yeah, yeah. Anyway, actually, in the orchid world, I don't think that there's any what I would call not pretty color. But the pinks and the purples, the reds, the oranges, the yellows, yes, I, I just, I like them all. Okay. I like diversity with my orchids, and these are so much fun. Did I mention that I got five? I did, didn't I? I am very, very excited. I have been counting down the days. Oh, and this is a tall one. And you're going to notice that when you get to Lumnias, some of them are kind of short. And um, I've got one that's short, and it's, I think it's Yellow Mask. And it kind of climbs. It has kind of a climbing habit. So these are very interesting. Oh my goodness. In perfect shape. This one is Tulumnia Gyric Firm Quail Eggs. Yay. I feel like Christmas just came, y'all. Yes. So what I do when I get new plants, as you all know, the first thing I do is I spray them off with my insecticidal soap um, before I do anything else I just if there's anything on these which these look these look very clean doesn't look there like any pests have been chewing on anything inspect your new plants carefully that is the that is the best thing that you can do inspect them and if you even have an idea that there's an insect on one of them or that you know, you see some grazing or something weird looking. Ooh, spray it, keep an eye on it, isolate it. Even isolate it away from the others that are in the same package because, you know, you can get a package of five orchids and just one has insects and it can spread to your whole collection. And I don't like to see that happen. I've heard of that happening and I'm, I'm very, very careful about that. So, I like to isolate my plants when they're new anyway, um, just because I like to keep an eye on them. Once they go back in the sunroom, it's kind of like, you know, I mean, I pay close attention to the ones in the sunroom, believe me. I'm in there all the time. But um, I like to have the new ones, get to know them, like in the house. I know that sounds funny, but it's true. This one, oh my gosh, this one is... Tulumnia Gyric Flyer Sahara. This one is gorgeous. And these little plants, oh my gosh, look at how adorable they are. They weigh nothing. I love that. Okay. Perfect. That one's in really awesome shape too. And I think I'm getting down to the bottom here. Ooh, yes. So y'all know what I'm going to be doing tonight, right? Yes, I'm going to be putting on some really good music, and I'm going to be getting them out of these, these little pots and putting them in New Zealand sphagnum moss, which is the way that I grow all of mine. I love, um, I love just the process of it. It's kind of, yes, it does require patience, but it's, it's just kind of fun. I've done these quite a few times. The more you get them out of these little baskets, the better you get at it. That's the hardest part about growing these is just getting them out of these baskets. Once that's done, you got it made. And look at this. Oh my good. Oh, this is a very vigorous one. Whoa. <gasps> wow. Look. Oh my goodness. Which one is this one? Ooh, this one's Gyric Flyer Red Spread. This is a gorgeous one. Okay. And did I mention that these don't have to have a cool down period? These just bloom whenever they want to bloom. What happens is the fan, a new fan will appear, it will mature, and then it blooms. And it can happen anytime. They say that they usually bloom in the winter, but <laughs> I've got one in bloom now. One of mine just came out of bloom. I think that since I've been growing these, um, I've pretty much had one in bloom the whole time. 
the first time that I ordered was, let me see, how long have I been, how long have I been growing these? Um, since the World Cup soccer, which that was like the middle of November. Yes. And they've been blooming ever since for me. So, um, yay. I love these. I hope that you all get a kick out of watching me unbox these because this really does, I, I love unboxing videos. Um, and these are just really, really beautiful little plants. These are ones that I ordered, like I said, from Hauserman. I'm going to get them sprayed. I'm going to water them really well. They do a lot better. Don't try to get them out of these little baskets without watering them first. Okay. Get the, get the root systems really damp. I mean, water them well before you try to get them out of the baskets. It's that's your biggest help right there. So the next time you see these, they're going to be in a display, probably here in my kitchen, um, under my led light that I have, um, set up just for them, which is so cool. And, um, yeah, and thank you all for coming along on my unboxing journey this time. I hope y'all are having just a fabulous day. And before I end the video, I'd love to say the blessing over you, your families, and your plants. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. Y'all, make it a great day. We'll talk to you next time.